I'm here at Rye Harbour Nature Reserve where there are many rare and endangered plants and animals. The reserve is unique in the fact that it's largely designated as a site of specific scientific interest due to the unusual habitats that have been created. The site offers a number of fascinating walks across this large triangle of land as well as many hides for birdwatching enthusiasts. The site was established in 1970 by East Sussex County Council who managed the reserve until the Sussex Wildlife Trust took over in 2011. Spread over more than a thousand acres, Rye Harbour has become one of the most important sites for bird preservation in the south of England. I'm here at the John Gooders High with Barry Yates, who's the site manager here at Rye Harbour Nature Reserve. So Barry, how long have you been working here at the reserve? I've been here for over 30 years, but when I first came here, the nature reserve was quite small, but it's really expanded during that time, and we've made a big difference for wildlife and for the visitors that come to see it. I see, and what sort of birds are here around this time of year? Now, um, in the middle of winter, there's a lot of birds that have travelled great distances to come to Rye Harbour because it offers a warmer climate for them and lots of food and, and a safe place to live. And how much does a site like this rely on the dedication of volunteers? Yeah, we could not operate without um, a band of volunteers and a large number of supporters. There are two charities associated with this nature reserve the Friends of Rye Harbour Nature Reserve and the Sussex Wildlife Trust. And so it's largely dependent upon um, public support and public funding. And for other people that might want to get involved with the reserve, how could they do that? Well, a very good way to um, find out more about the Nature Reserve is to come on one of our guided walks. Um, during the year we run about 75 public events and then when people get to find out a bit more, they can join the Friends and then become one of our volunteers. At this time of year there are large numbers of golden plover and lapwing, as seen here. They come to the reserve for the warmer climate and accessible feeding spots. Survival is key, with the birds under constant attack from merlin and peregrine falcons, but at Rye Harbour they have a safe place to roost during the daytime. The reserve attracts many visitors all year round, and we caught up with a local bird watcher to see what it is that keeps people coming back. How often do you come down to the reserve? Um, it varies at this time of year, probably only about once a month because um, the weather's not so good, but in the summer, most weeks I'd come down. And what is it that makes you come back to the reserve? I just love the wide open space anyway, but I'm a bird watcher and I'm, it's absolutely, absolutely exceptional here. Um, there's always so much to see. The reserve is free of charge and always welcomes new visitors, so why not come down and check out the birds for yourself? 